In part one, I've covered some dietary guidelines to follow in order to improve reaction time and reverse cognitive decline, avoiding specific foods that damage your brain and adding some alternatives that are shown to improve reaction time. So I suggest to give that one a look before taking supplements. But let's say that you are already eating a relatively healthy diet. How can you improve your reaction time even more? The word nootropics might sound familiar to some of you. But for those who don't know about them, nootropics or smart drugs are compounds or supplements that enhance the cognitive performance of an individual. They work by increasing mental functions such as memory, creativity, motivation, attention, and many other markers of cognition. The term nootropics was coined in 1972 by Dr. Cornelio e Georgia, when memory enhancing properties of pyrecetam, a drug mainly used for epilepsy, were observed in clinical trials. There are two types of nootropics, natural, which are normally herbs or plants, and synthetic, which are lab-created compounds. You're probably familiar with Adderall, or maybe you've heard about it. In the United States, it's a widely used drug for treating ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. But throughout the recent years, it has been abused to boost academic performance. A 2013 meta-analysis found that up to 35% of college students had misused prescription stimulants primarily for cognitive enhancement. And in the esports scene, Adderall and other synthetic drugs are being discovered as well. But considering the wide range of side effects on Adderall, both physical and psychological, in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Now, just because something is synthetic, that doesn't mean it's harmful. And just because something is natural, it doesn't mean it's safe. We need to rely on strong scientific research to figure out what are the effects of these compounds and to use them for our advantage. In this video, I'm going to focus on nootropics that improve reaction time. So, let's start with everyone's favorite morning beverage, coffee. Caffeine is one of the most researched nootropics. Several studies show that it significantly improves reaction time by improving alertness. Coffee has also been shown to be protective for your brain in the long term. But keep in mind that a lot of the neuroprotective effects of coffee are not associated to the caffeine component, but rather to the antioxidant content. For this reason alone, I prefer coffee over energy drinks. Not to mention that some energy drinks can contain up to 300 mg of caffeine and other stimulants in them. So I would recommend to stick to coffee for its long-term neuroprotective properties, thanks to the antioxidants it contains, which have been shown to protect against Alzheimer's and Parkinson. A recommended dose of 50 to 150 mg is optimal. The average dose of caffeine in a cup of coffee is around 90 mg. Some individuals can metabolize up to 300 mg without any side effects. But going above that is not going to provide any additional benefits and you might start to experience some side effects, like nervousness and hypertension. Caffeine is one of the most researched nootropics because of its wide consumption. It's considered safe in the short term as long as you don't exceed 600 mg per day and long term as long as you stick to moderate to low doses of 150 mg. L-theanine is a natural amino acid found mostly in green tea. It reduces psychological and physiological stress and increases alpha brain wave activity to produce a relaxed yet alert state about 40 minutes after it's ingested. Now, L-theanine alone does not improve reaction time. It only improves reaction time in stressed individuals. But combine it with caffeine and you have a much bigger boost in reaction time than taking caffeine alone. L-theanine has also been shown to reduce the jittery and anxiety effect that some caffeine users experience. A proportionate dosage is 250 mg of L-theanine and 150 mg of caffeine which is the dosage that they used in most studies. There have been no reports of overdose or side effects of taking L-theanine, 
and drinking tea is generally safe for most people. Rhodiola rosea, also known as Arctic or Golden Root, is a herb that grows in the cold and mountainous regions of Europe and Asia. Four week supplementation with Rhodiola rosea was reflected in improved results in the psychomotor tests. In the simple reaction time testing, Rhodiola rosea ingestion resulted in a significantly shorter reaction time. A common dose of 400 to 600 mg per day is optimal. Rhodiola rosea has been proven to be effective and safe in the short term supplementation. No long term studies exist to date, but there is studies to suggest that it can improve longevity. Although very promising, more evidence is needed to confirm this. Ashwagandha, also known by its botanical name Withania somnifera, is a small woody plant native to India and North Africa. In this 2014 study, it was found that healthy men aged from 20 to 35 years, given 500 mg of ashwagandha per day for two weeks, saw significant improved reaction time by 7% compared to a placebo. An optimal dose is 500 mg to 1000 mg per day. In vitro results suggest no toxicity to human blood cells with standard doses of the extract. It is considered a safe nootropic short-term, but long-term studies are needed to confirm its safety. Thiamine, or vitamin B1, a common ingredient in energy drinks, plays a key role in the maintenance of brain function. It is a cofactor for several enzymes involved in the glucose metabolism and has distinct properties at the neural membrane. This study found that reaction time increased after thiamine supplementation. A normal dose used in most studies is 50 mg to 300 mg per day. Thiamine or vitamin B1 is considered safe both short term and long term in the doses mentioned. Kava is a natural plant of the Pacific Islands. This study measured reaction time and recorded an astonishing improvement of 40% on reaction time. A normal dosage is 300 mg per day, as used in the study. When looking at animal studies, the extract of kava at doses up to 73 mg per kilogram of body weight for 6 months has failed to exert any toxic effects. But there is no long-term studies to confirm its safety. Lutein and zeaxanthin are two important carotenoids that accumulate in the retina particularly in the macula region, which is located at the back of your eye. They are responsible for regulating the light exposure and protecting the eyes from blue light damage. Lutein and zeaxanthin supplementation in healthy adults has been shown to improve visual reaction time by 10%. In most studies, they use a supplement with 20 mg of lutein and 2 mg of zeaxanthin. But keep in mind that optimal dose depends on the amount of stress that you put your eye through. So people that spend a lot of time on the computer might need bigger amounts. Lutein, as well as the related zeaxanthin, are carotenoid structures similar to pre-vitamin A, and thus are generally considered safe long term. In order to measure the effects of every nootropic, you first need to figure out what your base reaction time is. You can use human benchmark for that. After, start checking your reaction time daily or every other day to see the results of each nootropic. Now, I don't want you guys to go online and start buying all of these supplements directly. It's best to first do your own research and also don't start with 5 nootropics at a time. It's better to test only one for a few weeks to know how it works and then slowly start taking them as you progress. A good place to start to read is the subreddit of nootropics and stack advice. I highly recommend you to also take a look at the studies that I cited in this video. They will be linked in the description. Alright guys, that's gonna ramp up everything for this video. Let me know in the comments what supplements are you taking or planning to take and what is your experience with them so far. Also, make sure to smash that like button if you found this information useful. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next video.